Hi, this is Brian French and welcome to the Marketing Freak Show. Today's topic is your marketing health. It's a lifestyle. Often when I talk to clients, what they'll do is they'll send me a little bit of a laundry list of things that they want to accomplish. As if these are simple bullet points that they can just check off and and accomplish in maybe a, a day, week, month, or uh, six months. In reality, it's not like that. It would be analogous to going to a doctor and say, you know, give me a pill for this. Let's do an operation for that. When somebody has health issues, we know the underlying cause of that most likely is lifestyle. So maybe they don't exercise, maybe their diet is poor. But a lot of times people want surgery to reduce a few pounds instead of actually getting out there and exercising their marketing muscle. So that's what I want to talk about today is how to exercise your marketing muscle. First, I would <laughs> I want you to know that I understand that it's always hardest to start implementing things at the beginning. So, it, you know, if you have reservations, if uh, it feels uncomfortable, great. It should feel uncomfortable because you're going to be exercising new muscles and it's going to feel different and it may uh, feel a little sore. But that is all the more reason to push through that. People who are good at marketing actually enjoy marketing. So that is really a major goal of all your marketing efforts is to, is to turn this into something that's drudgery, into something that's pleasant, fun, and creative, and is uh, displays the genuine you, the unique person you are. So if you want to compete and win, then obviously you have to separate yourself from the, the hordes of competition in your industry. So how do we make this fun? My effort is to extend our relationship into something where it's long term because I don't think that I can deal with emergency room issues constantly with people. So we need to get on a marketing health plan. So many of the videos that I've done are really part of that process. The, the most successful marketing people that I know, and actually if you if we go back and look of how I named my radio show, The Marketing Freak Show, is actually a local attorney here in the Tampa area that I got to know. And it's an attorney that, is, that is, does estate planning work. And what makes him really unique is that he did a radio show for a, about 30 years. And nothing really stopped him from doing that radio show on a consistent basis. He also gave lectures and talks whenever the, the opportunity arised. And what did that result in? Well, he has about eight offices. Um, he does a tremendous amount of business. And uh, he's written over 30,000 wills and trust documents. Now, if you, what does that mean? Well, 30,000 wills mean that he's probably in, to a degree in control of over a billion dollars of assets. So 30,000 relationships that he can get involved in. So, but the only way that he would have gotten to that level is that he actually enjoyed what he was doing. Now, is he the, the slickest presenter after 30 years of estate planning information? Does he do it with style and grace? No, he's kind of like me, a little bit dry. But he's, it's the tortoise and the hare. He, he plodded along, kept on doing it and doing it, received some satisfaction of it, and was very, very patient. So you can see that long-term health of lifestyle, making marketing part of your daily routine, is a key element in having success. Okay, So patience is something that a lot of people, when it comes to marketing, it's like they go shopping with their spouse for shoes or something. I mean, they just can't wait to get out of the store. When it comes to marketing, you, you really need to make your primary goal to enjoy it because you're going to be doing it the rest of your life. This is Brian French. Thank you for listening to the Marketing Freak Show. Please feel free to scroll through our other episodes on podabatic.com or the media browser in the plugin uh, of this site.